go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against a zoe she took flash ignite is running electrocute and sorcery, sorcery secondary i checked to see if she was doing nullifying orb but she's not so that's good for us because nullifying orb is a super strong rune especially against fizz so i'm taking pta today because if we don't get hit by the bubble we can really abuse it on her so pretty much with the uh zoe matchup you just basically you if you don't get hit by the bubble obviously it's like forehead to say but if you don't get hit by the bubble then you basically win the, the matchup given that there's not, like, a bunch of uh, jungle pressure here. So we'll see how she plays the first wave. I may take my E first. If she doesn't hit the, the wave, then I'll take E so I can secure the first three minions. But if she does hit the wave, then I'll just start W. If she starts hard shoving the wave... I should be good here. I'm, I'm just going to take W. Ooh, I miss, messed up and actually didn't get anything there. I was indecisive. I wanted to take my E, but then I saw like the minions weren't evenly like low, and I would I thought I was gonna miss some, so I was like, oh, I'll just take my. Ooh, I think I dodged out on the actual blast of that. She is peppering me up with a lot of autos, but we have a uh, corrupting pot, so we're not too bad in terms of sustain. We'll heal up nicely. We're not gonna get much early jungle attention because it is a Karthus jungle, so we gotta keep that in mind. I'm just going to throw a ward down there, just in case if the Kha'Zix is shadow on bot side. Once I get level 3, I'll look to trade with her some more. But until then, we really can't do too much. Because we really need the Q Auto W to utilize our trade. Looks like she wants to hit me with a Q here. Had a nice Q Auto W. I preemptively E'd there because I was assuming that the, the bubble was about to come out, but it didn't. So that was a misplay by me. I could have held on to my E and just been got that trade off completely free. But that's the power of PTA. We chunked her super, super hard. And we went in on her whenever she was getting aggressive and like walking in between our minions. Nice. She missed that. I want to get this cannon before she pressures me too much. She's healed up a lot, actually, from her pots. But that's fine. As long as we're not getting crushed by her, that's good. She shouldn't be able to hit that. She's going to look to get that bubble right there, mainly because she gets whatever uh, the item is if she kills that, last hits it. So when she goes for it, I may still get her here. I got her with the splash damage. Hit her with the W there. Ignite, cure. Hit her flash here. I should get her. Oh, no, I'm not going to get her. Okay, I got her. I got her. That's fine. So I got her flash and her ignite there, too, which is good. Let's see, because I think her wave's going to push into us, because she has more minions on this side. So let's go ahead and grab a dark seal, a uh, amp tome, and a control warden. This will be a pretty good buy for us here. Actually, this wave is going to push into her, I think. But it looks like our team got a kill as well down bot lane. All right, let's see. What is our car that's popping off here with? Okay, so he got a pretty good uh, first clear, and he got an assist. Okay, good. He's got 31 farm, farming real strong. We got a pretty big wave here to help, like, defend us here. I want to throw a control ward up on this side of the map, though. I can basically use this uh, wave as a deterrent for the enemy jungler. Because if he comes right now with this huge wave, he'll be taking so much damage just from the wave. And then what else I want to do? So I'm going to do two, three points in a W. That's what I like to always do. And then I'll go uh, max my E. Let's see. I think we're about even in terms of XP here. But the wave's in a pretty bad spot because it's like right under her tower. So it'll be hard for me to farm without being harassed. And potential of getting hit by like a bubble. Ooh, that was a good hit by her. I thought I dodged that. 
But that's all good. She's going to push out the wave. Now the wave's pushing into us. Looks like they're brawling top lane. Sets OP, though. I don't want to walk up because if she... Yeah, that thing explodes. Her Q has like a little blast radius. Ooh, that's kind of bad. So as long as we don't walk up into that blast radius, we won't get hit by the little AoE. Like, spit off it does. Her bubble's down. I think she may just be looking for a reset here. Obviously, if she would have stepped up at all with her bubble being down, we would have went in on her. But not much we can do. Nice. Our bleed just happened to get that. So she's got her R. I can't really do much to her right there. Now if she steps up, though, we can go for a kill on her. It'd probably be better to wait for my Ignite, but I think we have enough damage. Nice. She's going to R away here. Oof, that bubble is, like, insanely long. We got a lot of damage on her, though. And if she steps up crazy, we can get a kill onto her. I should have E'd sooner. I, I, next time, I'm going to E sooner once I go on her like that. Because if I would have E'd the bubble, I would 100% kill that. She's playing really safe now, though. Ah, I wanted to go in and look for it right there, but that would have been really dumb. I just need to let this wave bounce back out to me. And potential. Alright, so her bubble's down now. If she stays, I can look for a fight onto her. Nice. We got a big chunk onto her. I think we can maybe kill her with a Q Auto W with a PTA trade and ignite. Potentially. We can't get baited by her. Um, her bubble, though. Her bubble could kill us. Alright, she's gonna get baited by this. Woo! There's the bubble, actually. So now we can... If she stays, she dies. I'm not sure what the cooldown on the bubble is. But I'm pretty sure she realizes she needs to back, too. And if she does back here, I may get a plate. Because I do have a pretty big wave here. Alright, there's the Kha'Zix. This guy doesn't have... He's gonna have to flash. Okay, good play by him. That's fine. I'm just gonna. If he walks up, I'm gonna look to uh, alt him. Look for a fish on him. If that hits. Ooh, that was close. If that would have hit, I think we kill him. I'm gonna go ahead and bail out now at this point. I have my E, so I'm really not worried about her, like going ham on me or anything. Just E that and get a reset in. My team's going ham bot lane, so me taking up the jungler's time is really good. Ooh, good swallow by him. Maybe not. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab the revolver, and we'll grab a little bit of extra health and a control ward. So not looking too bad here. Beating her in CS. And uh, if we could dodge the bubble, we could kill her. All right, let's see. What is she building? Okay, she is building the Ludens. That's good. If she, they're probably going to be taking this. Oh, I should have double E'd and I could have queued and got that cannon minion. They're going to get that uh, ocean probably. I'm going to come over here. Just got to dodge this. Nice. I managed to not get hit by her bubble. And she doesn't have her bubble up. Now she's dead. Just QW through him. And I'm going to throw a control ward right here. We should be able to get this. Their jungler's dead. This should be free. I need Tom Kinch to come tank it. I have my ult in 14, so if uh, Zoe does come, we should be good. Yeah, she can't she can't contest because I, I uh the threat of my ult is too big. Although I'm not sure what she's doing here. Yeah, she's toast. Look for the fish on her. I'm going to flash over. Mainly because I have the fish on her. So I should be able to kill her here. Hit her with the Q. Proc my PTA. Got her ignite there too. I have this red buff, so I'm fine with staying here. If Kha'Zix comes, I should be able to outplay him. I'm not sure what level he is. But I'm pretty sure we're way higher level than he is. And we're going to regen up with this red buff. 
He's level 7, but I think if as long as we let this red buff tick us up here. Nice. Look at that damage onto him right there. If I had Ignite, I would definitely go for him. But I'm just going to let that wave push in. Having him in the mid lane is soaking up a lot of pressure for my team. Look at my bot lane right now. Pushing up super far, so him being mid lane is really good. We got our proto belt now, so now we'll have even more kill pressure than we did on the Zoe. Basically, if she doesn't land a uh, a bubble on us at this point, if we can uh, use our E to dodge the bubble, we can easily kill her. Best case scenario is we land the fish, we dodge the uh, bubble with our E, and hit her with the damage from it. So she does not have flash. That's really good. She has a redemption, though, and she's pushing this wave out really hard. She could go bot lane since Kha'Zix is there, too. But if she just pushes here, we could potentially kill her. And if not, we'll just sit here and farm the wave. Nice. We got almost all of them except one. Um, She could definitely be roaming down there. I'll just throw my ward right there and then hard shove this. I don't want to use my proto belt, though, because I want to have it for kill pressure if she does come back into the lane. All right, now I'm going to use it because I'm not sure where she is. And I think I can just get damage. Okay, she went top. Wow. I'm going to get plates here. Because it would take me way too long to roam up there. I think she's coming back mid anyways. All right, so there's the redemption buyer. She's still going to miss the cannon. And then we'll just back off a little bit to give her some respect. Because Kha'Zix was in our bottom side. So he could be making his way up here towards mid. Not sure what she's going to do here. I want to see if she'll push us out. Let's see. If she comes up and like right here, we could potentially kill her. Let's see. Or if she just walks over here. She's got Proto Belt. Let's see what she does. I'm not sure if there's uh, a ward over here. She doesn't have a ward over here because she just warded that. So let's see if she comes over here. Playing the long game here, boys. Maybe she does have a ward here. She is just uh, hovering right around baiting me. Look for the fish onto her ult. Oh, a little slow. If we if we'd have landed that, it would have been a kill. Walk up and try to deny her of that little bubble. We don't want her to kill that one because she'll get an item from it. If we managed to land that, we would have did a lot of damage to her. We potentially could have just killed her, honestly. There's someone right there. I think uh, Kha'Zix is right here. He's right here. He's right here. Come in there. Okay, he's up here now. Say, so we should be able to get this one. All right, we're up on her by a lot of CS, too. Kha'Zix is in the area, though, so I got to be a bit careful here. Hit her with a nice PTA trade and then walk out. She doesn't hit us with the bubble, like I said. If she doesn't hit the bubble, she does no damage to us. And we can even pressure her under tower here. Our ult's coming back up soon-ish. And we just... Honestly, she doesn't have much mana. I'm going to pop a Corrupting Poss, and if she steps up too far, we can just kill her. I had a feeling she was going to look for a bubble through the tower, because whenever she throws her bubble across terrain, walls, or, or you know, I mean, a structure, it gets sped up. So, kind of had a feeling she was going to go for that. I do see Kha'Zix over in the, in the river. I'm really not worried about him. He's probably going to go bot. And she has to back, and she knows it. So, I'm pretty sure that's why she reset. I'm just going to let them do their thing. I think it's probably better for me to here to uh, create pressure mid on this tower. It looks like they may have him anyways. Alright, let's see. Let's back off here. I may be able to hard shove another wave. Zoe didn't contribute to that kill, so that's good. It looks like our uh, Karthus is getting a lot of work put in up top. i got to watch out for this one. Nice, and look at the pressure we have here mid. We've got a lot of pressure on her. I'm just going to come uh, place myself over here around this Karthus. See if we can't just sit right here. I do have my alt up. We need a ward right there. Does he have a ward? I'm just going to auto this for him. They bubble it. Let's see what she does. Let's see what they do. Actually, I have alt. Let's come up here. No dive. He doesn't want to. 
I think we can kill her. One jump ahead of you. I am sitting on a lot of gold here, but if she stays here, which I don't think she's going to, but if she would have. Actually, I think it's probably really good for me here to just hard shove this, because they may be draining dragon here. I can probably uh, trade dragon for this tower. So I got a big wave here. Just auto W the tower. Keep working it down here. We should get this. Nice. And that's first tower too. We can look to do this. Ignite him. QW through him. Hit him with another auto. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I'm going to E that. Nice. So we get out Scott's free there. I saw the Kha'Zix jump on me and he was like kind of half health-ish. So I just immediately R him. Then QW through him. And I had my E ready too. Just in case if he did do enough damage. But I figured I had enough damage to kill him. So... Get a reset in here. We're pretty strong. 4-1-0. Looking pretty good. And we're about to back with three grand. That's going to be a very, very big buy. So let's go ahead and grab our Sork Pin Boots. We'll grab a Sheen. And then we'll wait for this Aether Wisp. Nice. We're looking really good here. All right. So let's just run it down mid. Collect this wave, and then maybe look to... Does Garen have TP? Maybe look to go up there and help Garen out a little bit. Come on, let's go. We don't have our ult, by the, but by the time we clear this wave, the remainder of this one and the next one, we should have uh, our ult up. And honestly, if, if she just steps up too far, the Zoe, we can look to kill her too. She may greed for this cannon. And even if she doesn't, she misses it right there like that. I'm a little, I was about to say, I didn't see their bot lane for a second, so I was a little worried. I'm just going to come up here and rotate with my team, because everyone's walking up through here. Um, one of us did just walk over a pink ward, though, so I want to make sure I take this out. Yeah, I'm going to come over here. I'm not sure where it was. All right, so get the pink ward there. I'm going to shove out this mid lane before I look to fight with them, because it's a cannon wave here, and that'll be really big. QW through it. Put another point in my E, and then this wave should be shoving in nicely. What I'm going to do right here, too, is throw uh, a ward right there on the raptor pit. And actually, at this dude, I'm not sure what he's doing here. I'm going to look for a fish onto him. So I, ooh. Oh, he gave me the jukes. Let's see what he does here. That was really good. That was well played by him. Gave me the jukes right there. All right, let's come collect this farm over here. And then... Probably just shove out a little bit more. Probably one more wave. Um, I'm not sure how we stack up against this set. He's running Grasp. So let's let him push us in and then we'll see how we do. Obviously, I'd rather have my uh, ult if I'm going to fight him. And my, uh, my W. Hit him with a Q. Ooh. I'll just E that. I don't want to get hit by that true damage. Um, it would be tough. He's he's pretty healthy. I don't think he can, he can keep pushing on us, though. Because the threat of my team coming and rotating on him is too big. I'll just E that right there. Look for a fish on him here. Q auto W. Use the E there. Um, I may be able to get him here. Probably PTA on him. Oh, he's... Hit him. Nice. That was really close. All right, so what I did is I made sure I to position myself behind him. So that way that true damage, the little cone that he deals, wouldn't hit me. And then I protobelted him in the face with all the bolts of protobelt. Sweet. It'll be a lot easier uh, now that we have Lich Bane. I think if we fight him... Better jungle. That was a 1v1. We haven't really had any attention from our jungler. I think he did come top quite a few times, but, you know I mean, we got our whole lead by ourselves, just smashing the Zoe and a little bit of attention from this guy, too. Looks like Kha'Zix is just going to go bot. I'll come and answer him. Now that I have this Lich Bane, I can probably one-shot him. He doesn't have a full item, either. Plus, he may just walk right into my hands here. Let's see what he does. I think he will. Hit him with a Q auto W, proto belt him. 
Yeah, he just sucks. Sucks for him. We're just so far ahead. Nice. There it is, boys. All right, so there's Fizz mid versus Zoe. Kind of a short game, short and sweet, but that's the down and dirty of the matchup. We'll take you to the after action after this, boys. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Zoe mid. So starting from my top laner, my Garen was uh, level 150. My jungler was level 279. I'm sitting at silver 2. We had a level 118. ADC and a diamond for support and yeah my bot lane played really really well uh the Karthus did the most damage in the game which doesn't surprise me because he I mean he hits everyone with his all and uh yeah he went top and I know he was uh picking on that set a little bit and he just did a lot of work yeah so it was a pretty good game for us so starting from the enemy top laner the enemy set was gold three they had a gold one jungler level 63 Zoe in the mid lane that's who we we're going up against they had a Platinum 4 ADC and a level 182 support. And overall, yeah, it was a really good game for us. Basically, like I always, like I said, with the, when it comes to the Zoe matchup, if you don't get hit by the bubble, and so long as like their enemy jungler doesn't happen to be there every single time, maybe you eat the bubble, right, and then you go to commit, as long as that jungler isn't timing that perfectly and there every time, you should be able to abuse the matchup pretty hard. And then once she gets level 6, it's even easier. If she gets into range or just like her initial R, just throw your shark where, the, where she's going to be coming back to, right? So she'll R, she'll jump a little space, but you'll see the little circle where she initially jumped from. You just R that, and then, yeah, if she bubbles, E it, and then just kill her. It's a pretty free kill, especially when they take Ignite. If she would have taken Barrier, she would have been way harder to kill. But, you know I mean, I like it, aggression. She's taking the Ignite, thought she could do something. But, yeah, guys, that's uh, Fizz Mid versus Zoe. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. It really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.